Hi, this talk will cover another important neurodegenerative disease, Parkinson's disease, and one of the variants of it, dementia with Lewy bodies. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease marked by a prominent hypokinetic movement disorder that's caused by loss of dopaminergic neurons from the substantia nigra. The clinical syndrome of Parkinsonism combines diminished facial expression, often termed masked facies, stooped posture, slowing of voluntary movement, a festinating gait, uh, which is characterized by progressively shortened accelerated steps, rigidity, and a pill rolling type of tumor. This clinical syndrome um, is part of several neurodegenerative diseases as well as what we call Parkinson's disease. In addition, similar symptoms may be pharmacologically induced by dopaminergic antagonists or by toxins that selectively damage the dopaminergic system. Parkinson's disease occurs in both sporadic, which is most common, as well as familial or inherited forms. Parkinson's disease is associated with protein accumulation and aggregation as characteristic of the neurodegenerative diseases we've discussed, mitochondrial abnormalities, and neuronal loss in the substantia nigra, as well as elsewhere in the brain. While most Parkinson's disease is sporadic, a series of genetic causes have been identified that have been useful in shedding light on the pathogenesis. The first gene to be identified as a cause of autosomal dominant Parkinson's disease encodes alpha-synuclein, an abundant lipid-binding protein normally associated with synapses. This protein was then demonstrated to be a major component of the Lewy body, which is the diagnostic microscopic hallmark of Parkinson's disease. Like A-beta protein in Alzheimer's disease, alpha-synuclein has been demonstrated to form aggregates. Of these, small oligomers appear to be the most toxic to neurons. There's also evidence that aggregates can be released from one neuron and taken up by another, suggesting a capacity for a prion-like pattern of spread within the brain. Consistent with this idea, alpha-synuclein containing aggregates in the form of Lewy bodies and Lewy neurites first appear in the medulla and then in contiguous areas of the brain, ascending through the brainstem and extending into limbic structures and finally the neocortex. The major characteristic gross finding in Parkinson's disease is pallor of the substantia nigra and usually the locus ceruleus. There's also slight cortical atrophy and ventricular dilatation. This image shows a comparison of normal control midbrain with the pigmented substantia nigra and at the bottom a section from a patient with Parkinson's disease showing abnormal pallor or loss of pigment in the substantia nigra, which is characteristic again of Parkinson's disease. The microscopic and find findings include loss of neurons in the substantia nigra, but the histologic hallmark of Parkinson's disease is the presence of classical Lewy bodies in the substantia nigra and frequently in other nuclei as well. Cortical Lewy bodies are found in essentially all patients with Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, but they're uh, not specific and can be found in other uh, related disorders. In order to make the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, you have to identify Lewy bodies. So not to leave you hanging, here's Lewy bodies in the substantia nigra. This is a classic Lewy body, uh, which is identified as a, a hyaline eosinophilic core surrounded by a pale halo located uh, in the um, cytoplasm um, of the neuron. We can use immunohistochemical staining for alpha-synuclein uh, to identify Lewy bodies. You can also find uh, alpha-synuclein in neurites uh, these are these elongated, thickened uh, neurites 
uh, which are called Louis neurites, even though Louis himself didn't describe these. The image also shows a classical Louis body at the top. Cortical uh, Louis bodies are homogeneous eosinophilic structures that have ill-defined edges and usually lack an obvious halo. Typically, a cortical Louis body appears as a round eosinophilic inclusion which pushes the nucleus to one side of the cell, as in this case. The nuclei of affected neurons usually appear somewhat vesicular and have a prominent nucleolus. Cortical Lewy bodies are also identified with alpha-synuclein immunostaining. Here's an image of a cortical Lewy body with an intensely labeled core. You can also see dot-like immunopositivity in the background of the uh, neuropil, uh, which is often present, particularly in patients that have a lot of neocortical Lewy bodies. About 10 to 15 percent of individuals with Parkinson's disease develop dementia particularly with advanced age. Characteristic features of this disorder include a fluctuating course, hallucinations, and prominent frontal signs. While some affected individuals have pathologic evidence of Alzheimer's disease in combination with Parkinson's disease, in others the most prominent histologic correlate is the presence of widespread Lewy bodies in neurons in the cortex and brainstem. And so it's separately designated as dementia with Lewy bodies. As already mentioned, dementia with Lewy bodies may just represent an advanced stage of Parkinson's disease in which protein aggregates appear to have, quote, spread, possibly through the propagation of misfolded proteins, to neurons in the uh, cerebral cortex. Grossly, in dementia with Lewy bodies, there's a lot of overlap with Alzheimer's disease in the sense that there's diffuse cortical atrophy and ventricular dilation. What sets it apart is the accompanying pallor of the substantia nigra and locus uh, ceruleus. Microscopically, there are diffusely distributed cortical and brainstem Lewy bodies. There's three levels of involvement typically seen, the brainstem, the limbic structures, and the neocortex. In the temporal cortex, you can see microvacuolation, and Alzheimer's disease changes may also be present. Immunohistochemically, as we've seen in previous images, Lewy bodies can be identified with uh, alpha-synuclein, um, but also may stain with ubiquitin and neurofilament. So this is my seventh inning stretch for Parkinson's disease to sum up. It's a neurodegenerative disease marked by a prominent hypokinetic movement disorder that's caused by loss of dopaminergic neurons from the substantia nigra. It's associated with a clinical syndrome called Parkinsonism and a pathologic protein, alpha-synuclein. The microscopic hallmark are Lewy bodies, which can take classical or cortical forms. The main gross finding is pallor of the substantia nigra, and usually the locus ceruleus, which means loss of pigment. In addition to finding loss of neurons in the substantia nigra, the histologic hallmark is the presence of classical Lewy bodies in the substantial nigra and frequently in other uh, nuclei. Dementia with Lewy bodies is associated with diffuse cortical atrophy and ventricular dilation, and cortical and brainstem Lewy bodies, which are extensive. So I hope you enjoyed the seventh inning stretch for Parkinson's Parkinson disease and can go on to the eighth and ninth innings and finish up strong.